So with those words defined and written down in our notes, let's practice some examples. First, let's name the segments and rays in the figure below. Let's go ahead and start with the segments. Remember that segments are just a part of a line. So you can see in this diagram, we could go from A to B, and that would be segment AB. Or we could go from B to C. Remember too that when you're naming your segments, the order that you put the letters doesn't matter. So I could also call this segment BA, same thing, and segment CB, same thing. Now that we have our segments, let's go ahead and name our rays. Remember that a ray is a part of a line consisting of one endpoint and all the points on one side of it. So you need to find an endpoint and then all the points on one half of it. So let's start at point B. One ray would be B starting at B going toward A. So we call that ray BA. Remember the endpoint is always listed first and it extends infinitely toward the A. The second ray would be to start at B and extend toward point C. That would be ray BC. Remember that rays have to have the endpoint labeled first. So this is not the same as ray AB. Ray AB doesn't exist because if you look at A and you go toward B, there's no arrowhead at B to show it extends. So make sure with rays that you always name it with the endpoint first. And this last question here, I accidentally just made a typo. We did not, uh, we're not naming lines here, we're naming rays, so ignore that. Here is a try now example for you to try on your own. Go ahead and pause the video and then you're gonna name all the segments and the rays in the figure below. Ready, please pause the video. So here are the three segments labeled from the picture. Again, remember that for a segment, the order of the letters doesn't matter. So QR and RQ are the same segment. You need to have just one of those. For rays, the order of the letter does matter. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about ray QR. So remember that it has an endpoint Q and it extends toward R, but it goes past R in the direction of R. So ray QR, is the exact same as ray QS because S is just further along that same ray. So those two are the same thing. You should have one or the other. For ray RS, we start at R, we go toward S. For ray RQ, we start at R and go toward Q. Uh, notice here, didn't ask you about this, but RS and RQ are the pair of opposite rays. And then finally for ray SR, again, I started at S, my endpoint going toward R. That could also be called ray SQ because Q again is just further along that same ray.